like and subscribe to hear more riffs. <laughs> I am impressed. <laughs> Let me ask you something. How much do you know about Black Sabbath? <laughs> about the legendary Geezer Butler? I might recognize a couple of songs, but I don't know any of the titles. And I know Geezer Butler is the bassist. <laughs> You're about to know a bunch because we've got seven tracks and we are going to put Sharon through the paces. I believe at some point she was like, oh, how hard can that be? We're about to find out. Okay, Sharon, we're going to start with the 1970 album, Paranoid, title track. You ready? Let's do it. So classic. Do you know this? Yeah, of course I know this. Okay, I know okay, the cool. <laughs> Over the years, he switched bases, right? He's played all kinds of stuff. But in the beginning, he's a P bass guy and it's flats. And before you started, you were like, oh, you know, I, I didn't want to use my P bass because it's flats. I got all set up, man. Yeah, it's time to go get your other bass. Also, this is 1970. Remember that like round wounds didn't even exist. Roto sound didn't even exist until the late 60s. So like flats were just what was available. Huh. I'm learning more and more by the minute. I'm not good for many things, Sharon, but I <laughs> am good for bass trivia. Okay, so check it out. Here's the deal. You're not gonna learn the whole song. You're gonna learn this main riff, okay? Yes. But that's what I want you to do. So check it out. We're going to start it here again. We're going to learn that iconic riff. Tony Iommi on guitar, Bill Ward on drums, of course, the legendary Ozzy Osbourne singing, and you've got Geezer Butler on the bass. Are you ready to learn it? I think so. On your mark, it's set, go. Oh, whoa, that was fast. All right, let's go. <laughs> Finding that key. Shocker, a rock band in E. <laughs> wow. Who saw that coming? You're Not too me. confident. I don't like it, and I think you're going to be humbled later. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I am putting my foot in my mouth. Let's go. I would say ding, ding, ding. I need you to listen again to the register. Higher register. I was just about to say that. Because right? I'm pretty sure it's... That sounded pretty good. Should we hit the confetti there? Maybe. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can stop the timer because I think I got the riff. Okay. I'll play it. I'll, but I want to give myself a bonus part because earlier when you were playing it, I heard something really cool being done on the bass and I want to go figure out what that is. And he does a slide now. That one's did it. Okay, cool. Yes. There. Yeah, I'm so awesome. Don't go in, don't go in. He's like yes, a cooler yes, yes. Oh, I love that you like that. I know it, but mm -hmm. I can't show you. Yes. Who does this remind you of? Maybe another fantastic metal bassist that we've broken down before on the channel. I mean. It might be Steve Harris that you're talking about. Yes. To me, like the this sound. Thingy. Yeah. And also that like flat six thing is yeah. totally like maiden. It's like that 70s, 80s metal thing. But it you would know? be. <laughs> yes. Harris would gallop. Ding, ding, ding. I think I got like, instead of 100 points, I got like 100. You crushed it. Well. Your time was... <laughs> A minute 41. Oh, I think that's fine. pretty dang good. Hey, if you want to learn these classic Geezer Butler bass lines with Sharon, we have a link in the description with all of the tab and notation just for you. Sharon, I'm sticking with this record. We're sticking with Paranoid, and now we're going to play War Pigs. Listen on your left. Here's the thing, I'm not gonna make you learn his licks in this intro, 
but I just want you to appreciate it. Totally like pentatonic rock, P bass with flats, smacking it. Yeah, this one really sounds like flats as well. Yeah. Like, check that out. I mean, before we even get to the riff, like, he's got all this. You know? And I just love the sound of that bass. It just sounds like that era to me. It's cool. So here we have the top, right? This is like intro to verse one. You know this? I do know this. Yes. Just like witches at black now, masses. you can probably guess what that those two notes are. Right? Oh, I'm not allowed to touch my face. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no touching your face. Danny. <laughs> Sorry. Bill Ward, Bill. Oh, so sick. Okay. This is what you need to learn. Okay. And then there's some fills in there, right? You don't need to get them all. But I want you to get that lick. I want to challenge myself here. And I might it might not work out. But I want to see whether I can get it on the first try without hearing without hearing it again yes <laughs> on your mark get set go correct what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that is not correct what <laughs> okay i got i got it i got it i'm filling it up now damn it close. you're close <laughs> Whole step up. Yes. Damn it. Okay, I got the E right, but that's why the E felt wrong. Damn. Play it in time, da, and I'm going to stop da, the timer. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yes. I stopped you when you got it the first time. Killer. Okay. I am going to give you this time. If you want to join me in learning these iconic yet tricky bass lines, grab that workbook down below in the description. This record, which is technically their second, was going to be called War Pigs, but it was right around the Vietnam War, and the label was like, uh, it's like a little, it's like a little hairy. So they went with Paranoid, but this was always the intention to make a commentary about the Vietnam War with this tune. This record has hit after hit on it. And this next one, I almost want to see if you can do it without hearing anything whatsoever. It's Iron Man. Do, I do get you a know key? this riff? Like I do know off the, the riff. top of your head? Yeah, but I don't remember the key. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, play it in what key you think it's in. I mean, I would assume it's an E. <laughs> <laughs> your assumption is might be correct. <laughs> Whoa. I Close? mean, Ish? I think maybe so. Let's check out register. Uh, do you think he played it up in position like that? Like a jazzer? Like a Berkeley kid, Sharon? I don't think so. I need you to get your rock and roll together. I need you to think about playing this thing on one string. What are you doing up that high? Sharon, are you playing the bass it? right now? On one string? Oh, like <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty rock and roll, right? Tony starts it. Bill Ward. Ugh. See if we can see him doing it. There he is. Look at where he's playing it, Sharon, and look how hard he's playing. But he's playing it up high. Oh gosh, is he? Maybe you had it right from the beginning. Hold on. Oh yeah. He's not playing it on one string at all, is he? I think um I think uh, I think we're done here. I'm gonna back it up. 
backing it up. Welcome to Sharon Rules World. Ian has left us, and I have no idea how to continue this video. It's a new myself. SBL, everybody. It's called Sharon's Bass Lessons now. <laughs> I was in the wrong key, though. Were you? What key is it in? It's totally in B. I just assumed this was an E, like a freaking idiot. Look how hard he's like smacking the bass kind of close to the fingerboard edge. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three, four. If you want to learn this song correctly and in the right key and not take it from me that it's probably an E. Actually, I might blame that one on you, Sharon. What? <laughs> hey, if you want to learn it correctly, you know where that tab and notation is. It is all for you in the description below. Hey, Sharon, learn this track for the first time. Here's the kicker. I won't play you the track. Oh, you played it in the wrong key. <laughs> Sharon, next up, we're actually gonna go back in time. So the debut self-titled record has the classic bass intro NIB on it. And even though this got named the acronym Nativity in Black later on, it was never meant to be that, actually. Geezer wrote this tune, and he just named it after what they called Nib, which was Bill Ward's Black Beard. <laughs> And then later, people are like, no, no, it must be nativity in black. But it was just his buddy's beard. Okay, so you're hearing Geezer in Riff City right now, right? He's gonna kick on a drive, and then he's gonna hit you with this sick intro. You ready? How you feeling? Very cool. Very cool, right? So Sharon, <laughs> are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> sorry, I had to, I'm sorry, all right. <laughs> it's that same damn interval. Yeah. Something. something else. Yes. Oh, okay. oh my god, Sharon. Crushed NIB one minute and seven seconds. Try to get sub one. You <laughs> learned it, but you flawlessly executed it in a minute and seven. I'm gonna give it to you, well done. That is not, that's not easy to do. It's so like mean. That, I don't know if he's sliding that. I like the fuzz that you had. I don't know if he's playing, or if he's playing, like, yeah. is it a bend maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Kind of guitar-y. But there's something else going on, right? There's another element to the sound that I thought would just be really fun to show. It's almost like a bit kind of a crusher situation. I know, yeah. So it's it's a wah pedal. Oh. Yeah, it's a wah, right? Mm. Some kind of filter. So let's see, if I go like... <laughs> like getting like, a, I'm using the Tron Up in the HX Stomp. If you put the fuzz in front, maybe that'd be cool. Let's try it. Ooh. I'm thinking he's going into amps. The amps are mic'd, right? And he's using a wah. So I'm thinking it's probably his orange amps. It's a wah pedal, probably a crybaby. Um, but then the drive before the amps is what I don't know, like what the fuzz or the drive is. So 
Let's use the power of the internet and find out. <laughs> I'm seeing on Reddit where it's like, oh, you know, we just played it through a cranked Marshall stack that had a blown speaker. And maybe that's true, but it does oh. in the track. It sounds like he's kicking something on. Right, because in the beginning it sounded fine and nice and like sweet. Sharon, check this out. There is a pedal called the Tycho Bra, Tycho Bra Para pedal. That's a wall. Oh. It says he's used it since 1970 because Tony Iommi maybe used it. That could have been the wah he used on NIB. I'm not sure. Hey, if you know in oh, the yeah. comments, let, let us, us know. know. Let Shaz, us know. we are moving on to a 1978 record, Never Say Die. This is a super cool bass intro, a bit of a deep cut. Ooh. This is Junior's Eyes. Come on. Is he still on rounds? This does sound like rounds, doesn't it? Or you mean, hey, is sorry, he still, is he on, still flats? on flats? Yeah. Good ears, Sharon. I feel like this could be, still sounds like a P bass to me, but it could be round rounds for sure. As it goes, right? He's doing more kind of improv in those fill mm -hmm. moments, but I want you to get the riff and the fills from 15 seconds to 23 seconds. I think that's a really nice snapshot of this intro. Well, hold on, you've switched bases, I see. I have. If it is rounds, this will do a better. So I yeah, switched cool. bases. Cool. That's an awesome bass. What are you What are you playing right there? This is a beautiful GNL. Um, it is the most gorgeous matte black. It's so it. metal. Like, <laughs> yeah. the look of it is so metal. Are you ready, Sharon? Uh, yes. What note do you think that is, Sharon? Mm. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. It's E. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it is. <laughs> Stopping cool. you. I'm stopping Very you cool. before Very the two cool. minute mark. One minute, 58.99. Incredible. Isn't that a cool bass line? <laughs> That's a very cool bass line. And I love this thing. Like. Yeah. If you enjoy us learning an entire discography or, you know, 7% of it, like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. You did warn me that it might get hard towards the end here, so I am actually getting increasingly more nervous. Okay, yes, it's going to get spicy later, Sharon, because you are gonna have to learn Master of Insanity off of Dehumanizer, but <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself because there is this crazy upheaval in the band from the last record, Never Say Die, to this record we're coming up to because we have Ozzy Osbourne who leaves the band because of substance issues. Yeah. And Bill Ward is like, if Ozzy's out, I'm out. So Sabbath is joined by Vinny Apice on drums and the great Ronnie James Dio. Do you know about Ronnie James Dio, Shaz? Not a clue. Have you ever seen The Pick of Destiny? The Tenacious yes. D movie? Oh my God, yes, okay. I love that movie. Do you know yeah. the moment where he's singing to the poster in his room and the yes. poster comes alive? <gasps> yes. That's Ronnie James Dio. I hear you brave young jables, you are hungry for the rock. So this is such a great riff and song. This is heaven and hell. Sick Phil? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, Sharon, before you stop it, listen to Ronnie James Dio and the golden pipes that he possesses. Sing me a song, you're a singer. Do me a you're a bringer. 
Very beautiful. I mean, this dude is killing it. He was a legendary crooner of the rock. We ran into a couple of tech issues. I'm going to be timing myself. <laughs> hey, hey, The hey. power <laughs> is in my head. I know it's tempting, Shaz, but no cheating. Face fill. That's like Geezer Butler, like. I'm starting the timer. Good luck. Proof. Okay. Oh, oh my God, it's an E flat. Whoa, it's too down. I think someone yes. <laughs> like Beautiful minor pentatonic, pentatonic blues yeah. scale. Yes. Oh, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's also an interesting rhythm. So it's yes, like. Yes, it is. It's not that, right? No. Yeah, that's too jazzy. We're going too jazzy. Yeah, straight up, straight up. The gallop. And it's just setting the tone for the golden tone of rock. This is very fun. Very, very cool. All right, really do cute. it. Play with the track, Sharon. I do think I get to shave some of that off because a lot of that was just in the open. And Technical I played it by myself jumbo. before that. All right. Nailed it. Killer. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Sharon. It's about to get so spicy because oh, you have to learn Master of Insanity off of 1992's Dehumanizer record. Now, listen, there's a 12 year period where all hell breaks loose for Black Sabbath. So many personnel changes, and this riff is absolutely nasty. You gotta hear it. This is Master of Insanity. I am very nervous. They went full prog. Yes, what? they did. Oh my God. <laughs> Talking odd time signature. Okay. That's it? I, I, yeah, I just I just want you to get okay. that riff together. It's okay, nasty. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna start the timer. This era is them dropping a half step. On the whole thing, right? though. Or I think just... so. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's an E. Yeah. So you're playing it like it's an E. That's know? what I'm supposed to do, right? Yeah. Wow, that's really messing up my brain. <laughs> Not sure about that one. One. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, 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 yeah. One. As Sharon is working out this monstrosity, you don't have to. You know why? We got that tab and notation below for you. Damn, I kill for a tab and notation right now. All right. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm giving it to you. Face ID. Okay, <laughs> Show me your time. Show me your time. Hey, not bad. It's not bad. Not I am bad. proud of that. Insanity! Yes, it is, Ronnie one. James. Wow, he sounds like slap. Oh, he's just smashing with his fingers. Is 
that look like what you were doing, Sharon? It did look like what I was All doing. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> is a very cool line and kudos to you let's all give sharon a little round of applause here oh, thank you thank nice you. work give me some takeaways what'd you learn from this deep dive into mr geezer butler today i know a lot more black sabbath than i thought i knew number one very cool riffs i feel like a lot of iconic yeah. rock like foundation was laid obviously in that generation in iconic stuff like iconic stuff and yeah. then this, I mean, this one that, I, when did this come out? Master of Insanity? 92. That is such a jump from like the first couple of songs. Totally. So crazy, right? To see their progression and through all the different people. And obviously, guys, we picked seven tunes. I know that we left out some <laughs> serious, like classic Black Sabbath tunes. So crush us in the comments. Let me know what we left out. And also let us know what band that we have horrible blind spots toward. I know we do. We'd love to make some more of these videos for you. So let us know in the comments who you want to see us tackle and we will make it so. That's Sharon. That's Jerry. I'm Ian. This is SBL. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.